Now, obviously, the main topic today is surgery, but we want you to understand not just how surgery is done, but how it works. And in order to understand how surgery works, as we currently understand it, it's going to be important for you to know more about what causes obesity and how obesity works. Now, the traditional view of obesity is that obesity was thought to be a problem with habits, a moral failing, or a weakness of will, a problem here. And we understand now that really obesity is more of a problem with the biological control systems in this area. I'm going to talk to you just a little bit about the science with that. Um, and, and one image that we like to use is the weight thermostat. And, and it's useful for you to think of a control system in your body that says that your weight needs to be at a certain level. And for different reasons in different people, this weight thermostat gets set to an abnormally high level. So your body thinks that you need all this excess fat. Now we can agree, it doesn't make sense, it's not healthy, it's not logical, but this starts to explain the feeling that most people have of eating and at the same time asking themselves, why am I doing this? This is not what I want to do right now. So just to reemphasize, there's a biological setting, a biological imbalance that is the underlying cause for this obesity problem. And this is also why it's not reasonable to expect a person to beat obesity with willpower alone. Yes, habits are going to be important, willpower is going to be important, but we need some more tools beyond that. One last point about this obesity thing and the control systems, um, the body actually will create a survival response or a panic response if the person starts to lose too much weight. And so there's this feeling, the further you get down from the weight set point, that uh, the body wants to fight back up to that higher elevated level.